Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. We are continuing strong with discovering and testing new and exciting AI models and with explaining how to install and run them on a local computer. In that sense and in that spirit, in this video tutorial we are going to explain how to install and run locally Microsoft's newest model that has the potential to create a revolution in the AI world. The name of this model is BitNet B1.582B4T. Before we start with the more detailed explanations, let's first explain what these numbers actually mean. First of all, let's start with B1.58. This means that this model contains the packed 1.58 bit weights optimized for efficient inference. Then 2B means that this model contains 2 billion, billion parameters and 4T means the following. This means that the model is trained on a corpus of 4 trillion tokens. Next, let's explain the importance of this model and why this model has a potential to create a revolution in the AI world. This model is trained on a corpus of 4 trillion tokens and this model demonstrates that 1-bit LLMs can achieve performance comparable to leading open-weight full-precision models of similar size while offering substantial advantages in computational efficiency. When they say computational efficiency, they mean the following. They mean that this model requires less memory, less energy, and it has lower latency. If you go to the Hugging Face repository of this model, you will see the model variants. And let's explain them. In this video tutorial, we are going to install this model version. It contains the packed 1.58 bit weights optimized for efficient inference. And here it's suggested to use this model for deployment. Then you have this larger model which contains the master weights in the BF16 formats. It's suggested to use this only for training or fine-tuning purposes. And then you have this GGUF model contains the model weights in the GGUF format compatible with the bitnet.cpp library for CPU inference. And before you start with installation my suggestion is to go over these model details since you can learn a lot of interesting things however here is one very important note that you should keep in mind here on hugging face it's suggested to use this model with hugging face transformers library however there is one catch over here this is not the most efficient approach for running this model and here is the explanation and they suggest that if you want to have the most efficiency, you should go with the C++ implementation through bitnet.cpp. We will exploit the second option in our future video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will use the Hugging Face repository. We will download all these files over here. We will install the model and we will run the test script. And again, here is another very, very important comment. If you just run this test code over here without modifying, you're only going to use CPU and the model is going to be truncated because you will see it later on over here. You will have to change this option over here and you will have to specify here device type to be CUDA. Okay, another and the last comment is if you click on files, you will see this model.save tensors file and you will see that the model is super small. It's only 1.18 gigabytes and take into account that this model has 2 billion parameters. That is, this model is highly, highly compressed and it's very small. Most likely you can even run it only on a CPU. Okay, let's start with installation. In this video tutorial, I'm going to install the model on a Linux Ubuntu machine. More precisely, I'm using Linux Ubuntu 24.04. In the future video tutorial, I will explain how to install this model on a Windows computer. But here is one small remark. I had some issues installing this model on a Windows computer and I'm currently working to resolve these issues. If you want to use everything explained in this tutorial on a Windows machine, then do everything through Windows subsystem for Linux. Okay, so let's start. First of all, 
you have to sh make sure that you have NVIDIA CUDA compilers installed on your system. You can easily install them by, for example, watching one of my video tutorials, go to my YouTube channel and search for install NVIDIA CUDA Linux Ubuntu and follow that tutorial. Next, open a terminal. And then in the terminal, you have to make sure that you have NVIDIA CUDA compilers. To do that, you need to type NVCC version. And here they are. Good. Next, before you install any program or any package on a Linux Ubuntu, run these two commands, sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. This is going to update and upgrade all the packages on your computer. Then after that, you need to verify your Python version. If you're on a Linux Ubuntu 24.04, then most likely you have Python 3.12. On the other hand, if you are on a Linux Ubuntu 22. let's say 04, then most likely you have Python 3.10. Both of these versions of Python will work perfect. Then verify your Python version by typing this. And next, run this command that will install the command for creating Python virtual environments. Make sure that the Python version match, matches this version over here and press enter. Next, go back to the home folder and inside of this folder, let's create a test folder by executing this command. Then let's navigate to this test folder and inside of this folder, let's create a Python virtual environment. To do that, first of all, execute this command. This will create the Python virtual environment. And then finally, let's activate the Python virtual environment by running this command. And we are now good to go. First of all, we need to install the necessary libraries. So what is what are the necessary libraries? First of all, you need to install PyTorch. To install PyTorch, simply go to Google and search install PyTorch locally. Then click here. Then fill in this selection table, click on stable, Linux, pip. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go with CUDA 12.6. And here is the installation command. Copy this command. Go back to the terminal and paste this command and press enter. And this command will install PyTorch, Torch Vision, Torch Audio and Torch. Okay, so let's be patient and let's wait until this command is executed. Then after installing PyTorch, we need to install the Transformers library. However, don't install the standard Transformers library. Instead, go back to the Hugging Face repository of this model. And over here, you will see this command for installing the Transformers library. And paste this command, and this will install the Transformers library from this GitHub repository. And press Enter. And now the Transformers library will be installed. After that, we also need to install the Accelerate library. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you will have an issue. Okay, so let's wait. And finally, install Accelerate by typing this. And this will install Accelerate so we can use nicely the Transformers library. The next step is actually to write a test code. For that purpose, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. However, you can also use some other Python editor or you can simply use a notepad and then you can execute everything from the command line. To start the Visual Studio Code, I will enter this command. And if you want to install a Visual Studio Code on your Linux Ubuntu computer, then you can watch one of my tutorials, go to my YouTube page and search for install VS Code Linux Ubuntu and you will see the tutorial. So click on file, new file and call the file as test.py. Press enter, save this file over here and let's create a test code. So how to create a test code? Well, here's the test code. However, you will have to modify this test code. Otherwise, it will not we're going to work properly. So click here, go here, paste it and let's start with the modifications. First of all, over here, we need to do the following. If you keep this code as it is, it's not going to use your GPU and consequently the execution might be small. To set the GPU option, you need to do the following. You need to enter this part over here. 
device type auto. This will actually, let me close this, this will force or it will automatically recognize a GPU if you have it on your system and it will use your GPU. And then over here, let's uh, modify this message. Here I'm going to ask a question, solve the quadratic, quadratic equation, and let's set some equation, something like this, 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, and here it is. And over here, set the max of max tokens to be 250, otherwise the response will be truncated. Truncated. Save this file. Let's briefly go over what's happening over here. First of all, we are importing the PyTorch. Then from Transformers, we are importing Auto Model for Casual LLM and Auto Tokenizer. Here we are actually loading, no, first let's explain this. Here we are specifying the model ID. This model ID is precisely the model name or the name of this repository. And what will happen over here is that first time you run this code, the model will be downloaded. That is, it's going to take some time to download the model, then the model will be cached or stored on your computer, and the next time you run this code, the model will be executed directly from your computer. Okay, then here we are loading tokenizer in the model. Here we are creating the chat template, asking the question over here. Here you can ask your own question. Here we are creating the prompt and chat input, and over here we are generating the response and that's it. Save this file. To run this code, press and hold Control Shift P and then search for Python Select Interpreter. Make sure that you select Python Interpreter from your virtual environment and click here. And the code will be executed. First time you run this code, you will download the model files and after that you will be able to run it very smoothly. Okay, so let's wait for a while and let's see the response. The response is generated right now in real time and you can see over here the solution is given over here. Simple as that. Another approach to run this code is to simply type something like this python3 test.py from this command window and let's do it like this and let's see the response. It's the same thing and let's wait Let's wait for a while and let's see what will happen. And here it is, and that's the solution. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.